Uh, the other day we had Steve Poe, a pastor, he's my pastor, uh, on our radio program. And he was talking about the fact that when you become a Christian, not everything turns out the way you want it. You don't get healed. Your teeth aren't capped. None of that kind of stuff. You still have a reality. And he was talking about you still got to do the work to grow in character. And that's what we want to see people do. Do whatever it takes once you've embraced your life. From New Life Ministries, this is Going Deeper with Stephen Arterburn. I'm Stephen Arterburn. And Going Deeper is all about taking the tough issues, the hard issues of life, looking a little bit deeper inside so that we can gain some insight into our lives. Hi there. Thanks for joining me for Going Deeper. We're involved in a series. We're looking at 10 different choices that could really change everything in your life. It's called Healing is a Choice. And that means, well, 10, um, 10 choices that could transform your life. Wouldn't that be an amazing thing? 10 choices to transform your life. Now, I don't know um, if this means anything to you, but there are only about 8 million of these books out there. It looked like this. A lot of people have been helped from this book. And uh, Rick Warren pastor out at Saddleback Church says, Steve Arterburn has written a classic on personal healing. If you make these choices, your life will be transformed. And I think that, you know, the one that we're going to talk about today is uh, really, really important. And it's the choice to embrace your life. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> well, a lot of times we deny uh, whatever it is that's going on and then Somebody wakes us up to the truth, and we know it about us, but we don't do anything about it. We just kind of live with a, a, maybe a deeper awareness of a problem we have, but we've never said, this is who I am. This is me, and I need to embrace it. I'll give you an example. Chuck Colson committed a crime in, in the Watergate era, and he went to prison. He was... a uh, government official. He uh, knew the political system well, was part of it, and literally could have gone into prison, walked out, and said, well, okay, that part of my life is over. I don't have to deal with that anymore. And then maybe people would have forgotten about that. But he didn't do that. He embraced his life as a prisoner and felt so much compassion for the other prisoners. He related to them rather than what a lot of people do, say, I'm not like them. He embraced the fact that he was being punished in prison. And he walks out of there and establishes one of the greatest ministries ever, Prison Fellowship. By the way, they give away life recovery Bibles. They gave away almost 90,000 of those last year. So... If you don't want to be viewed a certain way, you might be missing what it's like when I embrace whatever it is that's real in my life. Johnny Erickson was, um, well, she was a, a normal, functioning, happy young woman, dives into shallow water, becomes a quadriplegic. I mean, it, it was horrible. She wanted to die. But rather than that, she embraced it and became this great artist who paints with a paintbrush in her mouth. She still sings, great singer, songwriter, author, and has had a very, very full life from a wheelchair. But if she didn't embrace this reality about herself, that would have never, ever happened. And what a pity that would, would be. So embracing my life, I'm saying this um, is who I am. These are the problems I have. This is what I need to deal with. Now the big lie is if I act like uh, I don't have them, they'll go away. Because, well, time heals all wounds, I might think. So the big lie, if, if I uh, act like I don't have these, you know, eventually I'll go away and, and, and they'll go away and everything is going to be better. But the problem is the problems don't go away. You're the one that goes away. 
you stop living as who you really are. You're faking it all along the way. And so it's really important that we realize that embracing it is not me going away, but really embracing the reality of my life. I grieved all this stuff that I lost, stuff that's not in my life. And if I grieve that and put it behind me, now I can look at what is true about my life and I can embrace that part of my life. And when I embrace it, then I become an inspiration to other people. I help other people versus me staying comfortable because, well, I just reject the fact that anybody could benefit from my story. So it's important that no matter what you do or, or where you are in your walk with the Lord, that you ask yourself, am I embracing my reality? Uh, the other day we had Steve Poe, a pastor, he's my pastor, uh, on our radio program. And he was talking about the fact that when you become a Christian, not everything turns out the way you want it. You don't get healed. Your teeth aren't capped. None of that kind of stuff. You still have a reality. And he was talking about you still got to do the work to grow in character. And that's what we want to see people do. Do whatever it takes once you've embraced your life. So grieving, I grieve whatever it is that is not there that I've lost. And embracing is looking at what is there and saying, this is the life that I'm intended to live. And then you began, you began to live that life. It's pretty important, I think, that we grieve and then we embrace the reality of our lives. And when we don't, then we have a tremendous opportunity to miss out on some of the blessings of God or the blessing of being whomever God felt like that we should be. So, hope that's helpful to you. That's choice number six. We'll do number seven next time. And, um, you know, you can always call 1-800-NEW-LIFE to be part of what we're doing. One of our workshops, one of our seminars, or just uh, get the app, the New Life app at the App Store and listen to our program every day. We want to be there for you, but you have to either pick up the phone or you have to turn on the radio or the television to hear us. Thanks for joining me. I hope and pray something I've had has helped you because when we embrace things, God does a miraculous job of making it seem like it was meant to be all along. Well, wouldn't that be amazing if everything you did, it kind of looked like it was meant to be eventually because you're living a surrendered life to our Lord. Well, that's it. Hope and pray something I've said has made a difference to you. And um, God bless you. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for joining me for Going Deeper. I hope something I've said may have helped just a little bit. If you have a question you'd like me to answer or comment, just email me at stevesocial at newlife.com. I'll see you next time. If you want to support Going Deeper with Stephen Arterburn, be sure to subscribe so you never miss another episode. And if you know someone who would benefit from this episode, be sure to share it with them. See you on the next Going Deeper with Stephen Arterburn from New Life Ministries.